Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Studies have shown that one of the key reasons women stay in unhealthy relationships is they feel too financially unstable to leave. Here with advice to empower all women when it comes to money, we welcome the co-author of How Money Works for Women, Kim Schooler. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Hannah. It's great to be here. Well, as we mentioned off the top, this is an important topic for women who find themselves in maybe dangerous relationships, but you have some advice that we can all benefit from. Well, you know, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and most women who experience domestic violence also experience financial abuse yeah. because it is the easiest way for an abuser to take control of their victim is by taking control of the finances. Yeah. And so one of the things that we want to do is give women some, you know, ideas on how to avoid those relationships, and if you find them yourself in one of them, how to get out of it yeah. safely have a plan ahead of time and then it's a lot easier when you find yourself in a tough spot to be exactly. able to leave. Okay, so your number one thing is being involved in finances, which I think a lot of women just want to ignore that stuff. Well, you know, we're so busy raising our kids yeah, it's and true. our careers and taking care of the household that we just, you know, if our uh, partner wants to do the finances, that's fine. But we women really need to be equal participants. Even if we're not the primary decision maker, we need to be involved. We need to know what's going on and we need to make sure our questions are being answered and that our goals are being met. Yeah, you don't want to find yourself in a situation where the bank account has been drained and you had no idea and you don't know what to do next. Even in healthy relationships, if something happens to your partner yeah. and then you've got to take over, what are you going to do? Where do you start? Yeah, we all have to have a game plan. Okay, and the next is looking for red flags. What are some things that we should be noticing that might be signs of trouble? So in an abusive relationship, oftentimes the abuser will deny access to the money mm -hmm. or limit information about the money. Maybe prevent you from working or maybe prevent you from going to school and, and improving your educational situation. Yeah criticizing your financial decision making, criticizing your goals, all of those things that, you know, keep you from access to financial resources um, and ruining your credit. Those kinds of things yeah. are, are often what we find in financially abusive relationships. It sounds really sad to talk about, but I know a lot of people can relate, unfortunately. A lot of people are experiencing these things. Exactly. Well, one in four women report that they are in a, an intimate partner violence relationship. Yeah. And again, most of them involve financial abuse. Okay, your next tip is just learning about how money works kind of just in the world generally. I mean, a lot of us, women or men or whatever, don't really have a basic understanding of financial literacy. Right, there is a lot of great information out there. And, you know, look for great resources that are going to be accessible and approachable. But learn the basics yeah. and, you know, be part of that creating your own financial plan. And then what about having a financial safety plan? Tell me about that idea. So for women who are in abusive relationships, first of all, if your safety is at risk, get out regardless. Mm -hmm. But if you've got some time to plan, stash some cash make pictures, take pictures of financial documents, of the important documents, yeah. birth certificates, marriage licenses, health insurance cards, uh, auto insurance cards, all of that. Take pictures of the, uh, the large financial assets because sometimes when you leave a situation like that, all you've got is your phone mm -hmm. and whatever transportation you've arranged yeah. for. It's good stuff. Thank you so much for breaking it down for us. Well, it's great to be here. Yeah. I, I really love talking about this and helping other women. It's really important. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much again. Kim's book again is How Money Works for You, and she has a book event tonight. We'll have more information about all that on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. <laughs>